Hi everyone, this is Waverly West with Texas Private School Media and I'm here with Coach LaVorne of the First Baptist Academy Saints. Coach, how are you today? I'm doing great. Great to be down here in Waco. Yeah, for sure. I'm interviewing him for the second time this offseason, so That's we're right. just going to talk some ball again. So, obviously last year, TAPS Division Four State Champions. What a season, what a receiving core y'all had. But y'all had Hunter McCoy at quarterback, and yep. obviously that's going to be big shoes to fill. I know y'all have George and Anastas and uh, transfer uh, Quincy, Quincy Reeves, Reeves. right? Yep. What's that quarterback battle shaping up to look like, and what are y'all going to do there? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, we've got three guys, George and Anastas, Dylan Jones, and Quincy yeah, Reeves. Yeah, for sure. And uh, they all had a great spring. Uh, they all bring different strengths. They've all got different things to work on. Um, so I expect that. Uh, battle to continue but uh, don't even really look at it as a battle between three guys they're three teammates that are all in it um, working hard yeah, um, just sure. to help our team win yeah that's awesome and then like I mentioned before the first Baptist receivers I don't know if that's, that's right. what y'all are most known for but man Probably what a so. group I know yeah. Elijah Kaysen graduated off to Holy Cross but y'all yep. still have uh, Dominic Sidhu y'all have uh, Caleb, Caleb Mitchell, Mitchell. Yeah. Um, so many guys that are yeah. so good do you yeah. want to just talk about that and I know a lot of them have gotten some offers this offseason what's that been yeah, like for y'all? They've, they've had a great offseason and that's uh, it's a great thing our Receiver coach um, is always pushing them to be better and better. Uh, coach Rob, uh, I think I told you on the podcast, uh, no exaggeration when I say I think he's the best in the country at no, any level. For sure. Um, I mean, you see him coaching NFL guys. Like, yep. what What an awesome thing for y'all to have him at y'all's school. Yeah, That's so it's, awesome. it's yeah. cool to see, look out my office and then see an NFL receiver walking by. Like, okay, <laughs> I can tell. He looks like. Yeah a defensive end or a linebacker but that's what an nfl receiver looks like wow i yeah. mean how cool that is so awesome and then obviously looking towards next year y'all are in tops division four again what games matchups do you have kind of circled on the calendar i know districts got kind of shaken up this year we have yeah. some teams moving up from six man even what matchups are you looking forward to this season and just taking a look at y'all's schedule yeah well one of them that i'm really looking forward to uh just happened because we had a team move up from six man and then yes. decide that they're going back to six man yes. or Villa Christian yes, uh, for sure. so we are taking that game and replacing it with San Antonio Holy Cross oh, um, man. which will be really tough That's they were in the division three game. State yeah, championship. Wow. so that'll be fun our non-district schedule mm -hmm. we've got a team uh, Buckeye Union High School coming in okay. from Arizona nice. wow. uh, Grace Community out of Tyler yes. uh, Dallas Covenant Colleyville Covenant and then uh, San Antonio Holy Cross. Those are our yeah. non-district games. I did not so even know y'all were playing Holy Cross. Yeah, wow, that that's going to be a fun matchup. Just match happened up. really over the past couple weeks. Yeah. I've been talking to Coach Harrison, so wow. it's going to be you fun. heard it here first. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now I've kind of asked you all of the football questions, so now I'm going to ask you some fun questions. All right. So, okay, you've obviously coached at FBA for a long time, seen mm -hmm. a lot of high school football. So who is your kind of Mount Rushmore of high school football? Like, Top four of all time. Top four. Are you talking programs? Uh, uh, no, like players. Sorry. Top four players. I'll, I'll keep it. High school players. A, a okay. Private school podcast. I'm going to keep it with private, private school? school kids. Okay. We only. love it. We so love it. I've got, I mean, and I've got to shout out Elijah Case and Hunter McCoy. Yes, and I've I said mean. like they, they've got to be some of the best. Yes. Um, and then at FBA uh, in 2013, mm -hmm. Uh, when we played Brazos in the championship, yes. we had a couple really good ones um, with Trey Hart, Justin Tatum. So mm -hmm. those were some of our best yeah, at FBA. Sure. Um, but some of the best that we've played against, uh, Waco Riker had that running back, Elijah Cummins, uh, who went to mm -hmm. Idaho, one of the most dynamic athletes we've gone up against. Um, for Parrish sure. had several guys early yes. on. Uh, when I first started coaching, mm -hmm. the district I had was uh, – Parrish, Prestonwood, Dallas Christian. Um, oh, man, so all the Parrish powerhouses. Had, yeah, Parrish had defensive end that went to Oklahoma, mm -hmm. a linebacker that went to Arizona. So they've they've been loaded for a long time. Yes, for sure. And then uh, those Dallas Christian guys, uh, Speedy Nettles, uh, yes. we played a couple years ago. Oh, he's uh, a great athlete. He SMU. Was, he was special. Glad to have him. And then shout out, our players don't like it, but we call him Bax Daddy, uh, Bax Townsend <laughs> from Lubbock Christian. Oh, um, yes. Because he, he <laughs> destroyed us. Uh, we knew he was a great quarterback and playmaker, mm -hmm. but then uh, him as a linebacker. Oh, he was wow. special so yeah. uh so we we referred to him at fba as Bax daddy um but Bax <laughs> Townsend hilarious. was yes. one of the best 
uh, high school players that we've yes. ever gone up against. Yeah, for sure. I mean, y'all's game against Lubbock last year was so many crazy good athletes. Like, that was what you wanted to state championship to yeah, be. Yeah, that was a lot okay. of fun. Um, Slightly football related, but a little less private school. Okay, if you took the average high school football player, didn't get any college offers, just like an average high school football player, do you think again with an with an NFL O line and against an NFL D line, do you mm. think he could get a plus one yard rush? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. No. Well, I've had that debate before. Yeah. That's okay. A We've tough had one. some yeses That's and some nos one. today. I, uh, I if you talk about the average one. Average, I would say probably not mm -hmm. because when you've got those linebackers, um, you forget all about hitting the hole and yeah. then they're coming after you. I don't yeah, know that, that they'd sense. be able to read it that yeah. quickly. Um, but above average one, yeah, I think they okay. could probably get a yard. Okay. Yeah. What do you think is like the minimum? Like he's like like a col the average college player could you think? Or? Yeah, probably so. Or maybe maybe um, taps all state player. Taps all state player. Is okay. Okay. Yeah. We Mark love it. Rayson. Let's go taps. Mark Rayson. Mark Rayson. For the FBA. Safe. FBA. Uh, he might get a first down. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Hey, he's, I mean, he's getting, you heard he's it here. He's for sure getting a yard. Okay. So fun. And then just a couple random questions. What is you or your team's go-to pregame meal? Do y'all go somewhere? Do y'all have it catered? What do y'all eat? Yeah, we have um, McAllister's. We were Jason's Deli. We have McAllister's. Love some it, of them try it. to try to go off and sneak some golden chick. <gasps> uh, we don't no. let that happen though, <laughs> um, Corey. But uh, <laughs> McAllister's usually, and I okay. always tell them it is not a meal that's supposed to be the favorite meal, the, yeah. your most favorite meal you've ever had. Okay, it's, it's that makes sense. Fuel for the game. Yeah, for sure. No, makes total sense. Okay. Yeah. And then my last kind of thing for you, I'm going to have you try and draw the FBA logo for memory. We got you oh, the red the and light both. Logo. The FBA oh, logo. Gosh, you got it on your shirt artist. if you need yeah. a little help. Terrible but <laughs> Yes, for sure. Right, how much time as much time as you need. Across. Yeah, across close. the Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, show the camera. All right, here we go. Okay, pretty good, pretty without, good. That's our one. That's the yes. original one without the state of Texas okay. that okay. we've got. Yeah. And no, I, good. we always have to tell the vendors we're going to send it back if you don't put the cross in the middle. We're the, not the New Orleans Saints. Yes, uh, we've we We've got love the it. cross in the middle. That's what we are all about at FBA. Yes. That is so awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Coach yeah. Warren. It's been Thank a pleasure. You. Always fun. Yeah, for sure. This has been Waverly West with Texas Private School Media.